wand review. If you guys want to submit your wands to be reviewed on wand review, send them over to newwandsday at gmail.com. It's just an email. There's a couple of rules. The, the main thing that you want to follow is you want to, um, this is the way that I like to take pictures. Just make sure that the, the whole wand is in the image like this. If you want to throw in some bonus images, just make sure that um, they are in this orientation. Therefore, you know, 16 by nine, like the screen looks right now. Um, and you know, you can see there's a little bit of a border so that I could work with it. And uh, you know, roughly something like this, if you want to like show it off more like that, you don't have to be in the picture. If you want to, that's that's fine, but you don't have to be in the picture. Ideally, you put it on a table, you take a picture of it. Here, I'll show you on this. Let's say this is, this is the picture. I want to see your wand in there like, like this. This is like the hardest thing, like this. Boom. Should be pretty easy. Let's see what we get today. Last time, we were able to get through like a decent amount of wands and I, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of myself. Uh, we made it through like pretty much a whole month. Let's start off with, um, what is the name? Jose here. Uh, Jose is only 14 years old and from Spain. Um, hence the name. Okay, cool. So we have a few different submissions here. Let's start off with this, uh, this white one here. Mmm, it's very different. It, it almost looks like, like because of that wrap you have on the handle, it reminds me of like a mummy. It's just like, when I saw that, I was like, mummy. This is a, this is a mummy wand for some reason. Um, I like it, it's nice. Um, you know, I don't really, I could, I could nitpick all day on anybody's wand, even my own wands. Um, I think you did a really nice job with that one. Um, now this next one, I, I like the, the twine. I think it's like, not twine, but like little rope, whatever. I forgot what that material is made out of that, whatever that, that thicker like string that you used. Um, I'm sure you guys are going to let me know down below. Let me know actually, cause I don't remember. So once you guys figure it out, let me know and I'll be happy about it. Um, I like this separation. I like how, how it's like that rope is basically dividing the, the handle and the blade and the whole blade is like perfectly clean, no burn, but then the handle has all these, uh, these crazy burns on them. And I, I don't think you did any sort of carving on there. That may have been something cool that you could have done if you like carved out some stuff and then burned it. Um, I mean, you're 14, you're a little young to be burning and using certain tools, but you know, if you have the proper supervision, you should be okay. You're carving stuff anyway, so, and you're apparently burning stuff anyway, so. Um, I actually like this one a lot more than the other one. I, I just, I don't know. I feel like the, that wrap, you don't really need it on the other one. Um, I, 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 I like the, um, natural shape on this next one here. I, I think it looks really nice. I, I love the end of it. I think the end of it looks really good. And oh, check this out. The way this is, these pictures were taken and sent in, perfect. Nice job, Jose. Um, you, you did an excellent job. I it just, I like when people follow the rules. And then what do we got here? This one's like ultra fancy. I like your little display that you made. It is not in English, so I will not be reading it for y'all. So um, I apologize about that. Uh, it's a little dark though, so I, I can kind of see, let me see if I turn off the brightness on this guy. I can see most of it. Um, I like it. I, I, I feel like you need to get some, some different string because, or whatever, rope. It's a little bit too thick. I think if you had a thinner one on there, it may be, it may be a little bit less frilly, frilly, frilly. You know, like all the little hairs coming off of it, frilly. <laughs> Next one was sent by Romole, Romolo, Romo. Tell me how to spell, tell me how to say this now. Romwell. Romwell, Romwell, Romwell. If I say it fast, it makes it. And uh, they're from the Philippines um, and they carved this really unique, weird, cool wand. I actually like it. It's, it's not a, like a traditional thing at all. It's, it's super weird. 
and it has all these little like stains on it. No paint was used according to them. Um, they just carved it with a cleaver and a small cutter for finishing. I thought they said fishing. <laughs> I, I think it looks really cool. It looks like, based on the picture here of the grain, it looks like it's possibly like a red palm or some sort of palm-like tr tree. Uh, I may be wrong, most likely I'm wrong. Um, the images are a little blurry, but I do like how like, it's like very rugged. It's very um, just beat up and, and just looks like like different. I, I, I like the design. I, it's, it's pretty simple, but I think you did a nice job. I don't know if this was your first one. I don't know if you mentioned that or not, but I think you did a really nice job. Nice job to the Philippines. Let's keep track of where these are coming from. So we got one from Spain so far. We got one from the Philippines. I'm not gonna keep track of this. You guys keep track. Let me know at the end where where all these wands came from. All right, next up we have uh, blah, 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 Holland, or their, their name is not Holland, they're from Holland. So now we have three different countries. This is so cool. Um, all right, so this is Killian from, um, from Holland. And uh, in their in their message, they said, "P.S. Don't be too harsh on me for my, any faults in my English grammar." You did you did excellent. All right, you did better than me. Your email was spot on. If there's any errors, I didn't catch them. So perfect grammar. Nice job. You said here that you uh, you made these with your grandfather, which is super dope. Like I wish. I don't think I have any grandfathers left, but I wish I had like spent time with my grandparents. I didn't grow up with them. Um, I mostly just had my parents around and uh, it's, it's super cool that you have something that, you know, you did with your grandparents or grandfather at least. Um, and, and you did a nice job. Let's talk about the wands now. Um, so this first one looks like you have, is it three or two? Two, okay, you got two wands um, and they're one of them is very simple. I like that you did a nice little paint job on it. Nice handle, just a pretty, you know, a tapered, nice job, rounded, rounded pommel there. Um, very classic, traditional style wand. Um, now the other one, it looks like you did a little bit of lathe work. Maybe you did it all by hand. I can't tell. Um, but if you did do it by hand, you did a very good job. It looks like you did it on the lathe. If you did it on the lathe, you did a good job as well because making wands on a lathe, as much as it is easier in some ways, it is also harder and you can fail very easily and then just have like a catastrophe and just your wand just breaks in half. It's happened to me plenty of times. It's just like right in half, gone forever. Goodbye, wand. So one thing that I would suggest that, that may help you with um, the, I can't tell with the pictures here. On this brown one where you carved all of those parts into the handle, um, I can't tell if if it's not even because the, the carving is a little like, like wobbly because I know it's really hard to carve into a rounded surface. Um, so if it is, what I'm about to tip, like give you the tip about is, is not gonna work. Um, but if, it, if you do have some really nice lines, what you can do is, because you painted you you painted the, the deeper part, um, what you can do is you can actually go back and sand. So you can kind of be kind of willy-nilly with the, with the paint job if you're gonna go back and sand it because whatever surface area you, you, know, you get a little bit of paint on, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna rub off. Also, if you guys are ever going to attempt to do something like that, what I would recommend is um, doing a clear coat of like a lacquer or something on it first so that that gets absorbed into the wood so that when you hit it with the paint, it doesn't actually absorb the paint as well because it's already saturated. Obviously let it dry so that you have a layer of protection on it and then paint over that so that when you do paint, like I said, it doesn't get absorbed so that you then can sand away without the wood having all of the um, the paint like inside of it like you know it's like and then you have to sand too much away then you lose your whole shape and everything is gone and everything is ruined other than that i i think you did an excellent job i think the wands look great so nice a jib so the next email that i got was sent by um dimitri and they were on vacation in greece so if you're watching this um your wand pictures actually didn't show up so I got the whole email. This looks like there's three images on here, but they, they don't load that just says question mark. So um, 
if you want to resend them, you're going to be put at the end of the line, but uh, maybe eventually I'll get to them, all right? Next wand was sent by uh, Screm. I don't know where you're from. I'm going to guess that you're possibly American. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, but if you don't tell me where you're from, I'm going to just assume that you're American. Does that make sense? Because usually people are, you know, that are from somewhere else will be like, oh, I'm from Greece or Italy or Japan. <laughs> Japan, I don't know what happened. Um, so this, these are, this is, I like this Scrim. I think, um, first of all, that name, dope, very nice. I like it. Um, this is your first wand. You made it from a piece of wood from your backyard. Very nice, I like it, very organic. You, you, Everything that you said in your in your email about it, you did a good job. There's really no no more I can say. It's um, there's only so much you can do with a, a a branch. You know, I like that you incorporated some of that that branch into, or at least the bark of the branch into the actual handle part. I think you did a good job. Very dark, very nice, nice job. Ooh, I burped. We have one by Colden. Colden, and it's a drawing. I think it looks really cool. Um, I'm assuming that those parts in the middle of the handle are cut out. Um, this looks great. I wouldn't change anything about it. I think you could definitely make the wand. Um, I'm just wondering if the are the the parts that are cut out on the handle side are they more squared off? That that's kind of like some things you got to think about when you draw it. Like, you know, and, and only really you have to know, whoever's making it has to know how it's gonna be, or are they gonna taper in into like a point? Um, and what I mean by that is, if I were to draw that pattern onto this, would they be flat at the bottom or would it go like taper into a point like this or would it be flat with the cutout this way? I hope you understand what I'm saying. Um, that's one thing you gotta kind of think about when you're when you're drawing. And again, only you need to know. Only the person that's actually gonna make the wand needs to know how it goes. But I think drawing looks great. I wouldn't change anything about it. Sean from Kansas City. What's up, my dude? Um, I, I I really like your wand. I, I think you did an excellent job. You said this is your third wand that you made. Um, I. I, I like the wrap. I'm not a big fan of this style, like the, that leather, that leather, leather type of strap um, handle thing. I think you did a really good job, though. I, I think it's it's just like wavy enough where it, it looks better because a lot of people will use that, but they'll put it on a very. Um, let me see here. Here we go. Let's say I were to put that type of wrap on this part of this wand. It would be too uniform and I feel like it wouldn't look as good. I like that your handle has that little bit of a bend to it, causing it to, when you wrap it, it kind of gives it a little bit of, of just more character. It's a great wand. This is like, it's a great, it's probably, I think this is my favorite wand to, so far tonight. Um, I think you, I think you did an excellent job. I think you should continue in this hobby. Your next, your fourth wand, maybe you already sent it to me, I don't know. Um, but your future wands, if you ever make any, if you see this video, um, you know, send them over because I, I think I think you're you're gonna get better. And I mean, this is already pretty good. I don't, I don't really see any problems with it. So I, I think you did an excellent job. Nice job, my dude, Sean. All right, next up we have a um, a very unique wand by Dorian, I think. Um, so. This wand is like a bird talon, or yeah, like a bird talon as the handle. It's super ambitious and you did a very good job. I don't, I don't like it personally for, um, I don't like like animal stuff, but I think that this is like way beyond like, let's say a bird head that everybody does like it, it's a common thing i'm sure we may even get one today uh, it would be hilarious if the next wand had a bird head on it but <laughs> i don't know i don't know what's next um but I, like i said personally i don't like it it's your wand your personal wand so that's all that matters is that you like it right that's that's really the only thing i don't like it and it's not because i think you did a bad job because i think you did an excellent job i love the transition between the actual handle um, or the the handle and the blade, it doesn't. You don't really have a guard on this, so 
Um, I, I think it's super creepy, it's super weird, it's super like Death Eater. Hopefully you're more in tune with the, uh, with the darker side of stuff because it is very like dark, right? Um, I think you did a great job. Like I said, the only thing is, is I, I don't like it personally for myself, but that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. It's just my personal taste. I, I, but, but when it comes to like craftsmanship, I think you did an excellent job. I, I wonder, did you make, is the whole thing out of wood or did you make the, the handle out of clay? If you, if you watch this, let me know uh, in the comment section what, what you, how you did it. And let me know which one you did, you know? Like don't just say, oh yeah, I made it out of clay because I won't know who you are. So just say like, hey, I made that bird hand, uh, talon wand and it's made of wood. It's all made of wood and you know, whatever. Keep making wands. I, I wanna see what you make next. If you if you make another wand, like, let me let me see that thing. I wanna just, you got, some, you got some ideas there. Oh, what do you know? The next wand was also submitted by you. So this one, what this is super tiny. What is this? Okay, I just read your email and I, I love it. I so all right. So check this out. Check this wand out. Right. So so this is a wand made by a house elf, and his uh, his master was murdered, and he set he set out to to get revenge um, for his master's death, uh, and he thought he taught himself um, how to make his own wand, which is illegal for non humans. Um, Super cool. That's why it's so small. I, I love the I love the backstory behind it. Um, it def it's 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 awesome. Nice job, man. Next up, we have two wands submitted by uh, Nick Jimison. Jimison. Yep, that's how you say it. I think um, these are both made out of hickory, and they are both traditional styles, but look super cool. It looks like you made them on the lathe, um, but you know, no fault against you. I I, I always give people crap for that, but um, I think they look really good. I, I love the black one. I think that looks super dope. You don't see a lot of black wands. Um, I don't make a lot of them occasionally. I, I like to dabble every once in a while, just like an all black wand, but it's very, very rare. Um, maybe you've inspired me. Maybe one of my next batch, not the next batch, but the next next batch, because the next batch is already made. It's right over here. It's probably gonna come out next week. Surprise, there's a new wands day coming out next week. So. Yeah, I hope you're excited. So let's talk about these. Uh, this first one, the the lighter one. It's, uh, it's super simple, but just executed perfectly. Um, I don't like when you guys do a good job because I don't have as much to say about it. Start doing the worst, bad, uh, more bad job, guys. Stop being good at things. Um, the next one I actually like a little bit more. Um, there are okay. So here's here's my favorite thing. I like. Mm, which one do I like more? I said I spoke too soon because now I'm going back. I love the the end of the the lighter one, and I really like the middle of the darker one. Um, so they are equal to me. If I don't show your email and it was sent to me, I'm gonna make a point of showing every email unless I think it's like a troll email or something. Um, if, if but if I don't show your wand, it's either because it didn't show up as like there's no photos um or uh that's it i'll show everybody's wands unless i think it's a troll wand or if um or if, if there's no image which there is a, already one before i don't know this person's name so i can't you know call you out and say hey send it again um so i'm sorry about that all right here we go we have um ooh, some beauties nice very nice Mahan R. I don't know where you're from, um, but okay. So first one is this. I'm assuming that these are made out of clay. Yeah, they're definitely made of clay. You have a you have a very good talent with clay. I think you did it. I think you did a really good job. So one issue. The photo qualities are very low, so they they're it's very blurry. But I think. Even though it is, um, the image is still good enough for us to figure out what we got going on right here, okay? I don't like animal heads, but you did a good job. Elephant head, pretty dope. I don't like the, the theme of that. I mean, I like the theme, I like elephants, they're cool, but I, don't, I, don't, I just don't like the elephant. Like, I don't like the animal heads, but I think you did a really nice job. 
Um, but I do think the next one is very Harry Potter-esque um, with the, the bark and then the inner piece of the bark and then the inner inner piece of the core, whatever. Um, but it's beautiful. The paint job is beautiful. Everything about it is great. The next one, also super nice. Um, just, a, just a nice, just a nice job. Just nothing really I could say about it. It just, it's a beautiful wand. Um, I'm ass again, I'm assuming it's made of clay, but um, it still looks really good. If it, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section uh, that I'm wrong. Um, but now this last one, my favorite. It's super bent, but it's super good. I really like it. I really like that shape. Um, very unconventional, but I wish this image was bigger. I just wish this image was bigger so that I could see more of the details. It is super low res, um, and yeah. But I like it though. I think it, think it, I think it looks really good. Next up, we have um, a few wands, three wands, submitted by uh, Matteo from Sardinia, Italy. Why, hello there, Italy. He is a, a fellow Gryffindor, just like your boy here. Uh, you can see right there. That's Mika Cheese. That's not mine. That's Mika Cheese. That's mine. Right there. A oh boy. Um, and he made three wands. Um, two for a, a friend and his girlfriend, and then um, and then his own wand. So let's start off with uh, Mateo's wand. And it is the longest of the batch. Um, I will show you all three of them right now. Um, so the longer one is his personal wand, and it looks super cool. I like all the little carvings that you did on it. Um, I like the separation between the handle and uh, the blade. I think it looks really nice. A little light burning on there. It looks beauty. Um, but you do also have a little bit of an added little twist on it, is that the, the pommel itself has a little bit of a... Um, you kind of carved around it, made it made it look a little weird, and got some weird. It's almost like a crown if you were to flip it upside down. It has a kind of like a like a spiral going around. It looks really cool. The next one down was uh, was for the friend's girlfriend, I believe, and um, also a fellow Gryffindor. So hello there, um, and uh, it, it, it's cool. One thing that I think um, all three of your wands suffer from, which is pretty much. Um, the only gripe that I'm going to give you here is that I feel like there should be a little bit more of a taper going all the way down. Um, and by that I mean there there should be a little bit more of a gradual reduction in circumference of the actual blade going from guard to to tip. Um, and that's it. They they pretty much go, they, they don't taper enough I feel like, but it's still they still look really good. Um, the, the next one, I mean, it wasn't made on, these weren't made on the lathe, which is, it's very surprising because they look like they were made on the lathe. Now the last one, I really like the um, the runes that you put on there. I think those are all like made up runes by you, which it's very nice. I, I really like them. They look like you used all the same size um, uh, tool to burn them, which is very clever because that allows you to get a very clean, straight look to all of them. Um, they're all the same exact length, I noticed and it looks dope, I like it. But again, I feel like we're right there where it tapers, where, where it goes in for the, the end of the, the handle, it should have continued to stay in and not go back out, not like do this type thing, you know, where it's like, it's really hard to explain what I'm trying to say, but like it, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Like it should have gone like this and then kind of tapered in, not like this and like this, but it's not wrong. It's just the way you designed it. But my personal opinion, it makes less, it flows less. It, it pulls your eyes to that little like dimple in there where, where they all, it meets. But maybe that's what you're going for. Bunch of ones were submitted by Oribe. Um You sent in like a good, how many, how many are there? One, two, 13. Okay. But you numbered them. Um, so let's just show them all off. Okay. Um, there are way too many wands here for me to go over all of them. Um, the one that really catches my eye, I would say, is number 10, um, 11, um, 13 is pretty cool. And uh, 9 is just weird. I like the tentacles that go all the way up. Uh, it, it's a little cheesy, but um, I think it looks cool. I, I, I do like it. 
So um, I I always I've told you guys this before. Don't send in links because I'm not going to be clicking on your link to go check out the image. So just attach the image to the email so that I could see it there. Um, I don't trust people. I have trust problems. Next up, we have some drawings by, um, I'm just gonna call you Alex. And all right, we're gonna go through these pretty quickly. Um, so the first one is a, it looks like Black Widow inspired. Um, it says Black Widow right on it. And I get it. All right, so we have the the body and and the the the, the butt is kind of like the handle. And then the, the legs are the, the blade. It's a cool idea. It, it's kind of weird and it would be hard to make it like really spider inspired if you put the little the little hourglass thing there i could see it probably working um i think it, it's a cool idea uh this next one the thorn one is very um reminiscent at least based on the drawing and when i think of a thorn wand i think of the um the thorn death eater wand um very thorny now this next one it says the assassin um very short so it just looks like a general shape with like some inc carvings on it. That one wouldn't be too hard to make. Um, now this next one is a needle rapier, I'm assuming. Okay, rapier, yep. Um, I think it says rapier, right? There's like an extra letter in there. I like the idea. I like the idea. Um, it would be a little hard to make. I recently did make a sword inspired, or dagger inspired wand. Um, one of my favorites. I think it's my favorite wand of this year so far. Um, take care of it, Leonard. And then the last one is uh, a stitch ripper, which I see the stitch ripper in there. It definitely looks like a stitch ripper. It looks like a knife. Um, it's It has a lot of uh, little engravings on it. It, it wouldn't work as much, at least if it was that size, it wouldn't work. You'd have to kind of stretch it out a bit and change some of the, the proportions of it. The handle could definitely work, but you would definitely have to make the, the blade itself much longer, you know, like this, and then the, the handle just be small um, to make it look more wand-esque. Because right now it just kind of looks like a, a knife. Um, good job, though. Next up, we have a submission, another drawing by uh, an, an anonymous uh, sender this time. We'll call you, we'll call you, uh, uh, Robert. I like your drawings. I, I think, and I like your explanation for them. You said you're not the best drawer, but I think these, these are better than a lot of drawings. You know, um, you got your idea across for most of them. The, the, okay. So the first two, I'm assuming those kind of go together. Um, and it's like a, a star when you stick them together, they would, they would go that star would kind of have to be pretty small to make it like work as, as, a, as a single wand. That's the hardest part about making twin wands is that when they do go together, you don't want them to be too big and too cumbersome. Um, you kind of still want them to kind of work together. So uh, yeah, that one I like. Um, the star thing, it would have to be a little redesigned. Um, the bird thing is cool. This reminds me of um, uh, My Hero Academia and the, uh, I forgot his name, but the, the guy that has the, the bird shadow thing, uh, the bird headed guy. Uh, definitely reminds me of him and uh, I actually like this bird head because it's kind of just like a general like almost like a silhouette of a bird I, I think something like that could could work for having an animal head in something because it's it's reminiscent of a, of a bird but not like hey, I have a bird next one is uh, it just uh, yeah, it's just a general wand with some some patterns on it next one was inspired by Mysterio the the spider-man villain um, uh, with like a glass dome and some crystals and stuff on there. Maybe it could be green. What'd you write there? Black, white, and purple. I think he has some green though. And is it? It's like gold, green, purple. A little bit of purple, I think. Yeah, that'd be cool, right? A little glass dome on there. Yes. Or maybe even um, something a little bit like like this. Can you focus on that, please? Um, can you guys see that? It's like oh, cool. And um, I do plan on using this for a wand, I got a little bit of gunk on there. I do plan on using this for a wand someday. I just have to find the right one. That's kind of what that reminds me of. And you could have like some smoky, like maybe I could put some black in there. So it's like a, a smoky, weird thing. Um, That's one of the reasons that I, I love getting these these emails because they, they just, they, they make me think of other ideas. Even if it's not the exact thing that you guys sent, it's like, oh, 
I didn't even ever think of doing something like that. And hopefully this guy's this these videos inspire you guys to um, to create your own like weird stuff. And and it's nice to see other people's wands, you know, and other people's ideas because like I said, even if you don't blatantly steal their idea, which I don't think you guys should ever do, um, definitely take inspirations. Um, and then we have a, uh, a purple bat wing. It may work. All depends on how you would, you'd make the wing. And then the next one is like a robotic, uh, weird, that's what you were going for with those, those things, like wires. I think in, incorporating like some wires, I never even thought of that like electrical wires with like a, maybe some of the insulation like like peeled back so you could see like the copper wire but then it's like the plastic insulation on it. Maybe like carving out like a, like a groove and then inserting the wire into the groove. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, side note, um, this was sent over by Kerbo. Um, not so much wand related but still super nerdy so i'm gonna show you guys real quick um this was a uh, dice box that he made for someone i think it was his girlfriend uh, i don't know who it was for yes all right so this was a dice box he made for his girlfriend uh for DD, and it's beautiful very nice holds all the die magnetic awesome i think he did a great job it seems like a lot of work to carve all those out we have uh, some wands submitted by Steve. Um, and Steve, boy, you did a good job. Um, first one that I wanna show off is this, uh, he called it a pistol grip, which is a excellent name for that style. I like it. Um, it's just a, a natural uh, branch carved down, made to look like a beautiful wand. And then we have this um, lathe turned wand and it looks really good but the cool part about it is that it was inspired by this other one that steve made beautiful i think it looks great i would love to get my hands on um that piece of of metal you have there it's it's pretty cool i like it i'm gonna try to make one like that with a with a big old metal handle um i really like it i think it looks super cool i think you did an excellent job um you said it, this is for cosplay, so go cosplay it up, boy. Whenever you guys do well, I don't have a lot to say. Um, I think you did an excellent job. I, I want, okay, I always have one little nitpick, right? The only thing I don't like is that the the tips are slightly, they kind of like bulge back out for some reason on both of them. It's like they come in and they're like, no, I'm not done yet, and then they, and then they, and then they finish. Um, that's the only thing, but other than that, and that will wrap it up for this new wand review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you wanna send your wands for review, send them over to newwandsday at gmail.com and I will eventually get to them. We made it pretty much through September. Wow, actually the end of September. Really, we basically made it a whole nother month. Um, I think we started on the 24th of last month or not last month, but the 24th of August, and now we're in the 24th of September. So um, hopefully we make it to the end of, it looks like September doesn't really have any much, many, many much more, many, whoa. Ooh, October, October has a lot. So we're probably gonna do, try to do all of October in the next one of these. Um, so, you know, keep, keep, on, keep on sending them if you want. Um, it's just gonna take me a little while to get around to them. I'm trying to do a month every video I do. Um, so Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed leave a comment down below Let me know let us know which one is your favorite Let us let us know anything about whatever any suggestions that you have for any videos feel free I get all my a lot of my ideas from you um, so that's about it. And like the video if you like to subscribe if you haven't already. Join the notification squad. Let me know down below if you're a part of the notification squad. If you are, um, leave a comment down below, including the word. Let me think of something. It can't be something easy like wand because you guys would be like, you gotta, you're gonna, gonna probably say wand in the video, any the description anyway, or the, the, the comment anyway. Um, so it's gonna be, uh, mm, uh, I'm running out of things to make these. Uh,
tape. The word is tape. Include tape in your comment and I will know that you stay tuned this long all the way to the end and you are super cool. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, bye, bye, bye.